Yoga Club. We could all do with a laugh every now and again. And this week, our yoga club is designed to do just that. Make you laugh, giggle and smile. In our yoga, we get to bounce around and be kangaroos, which makes me smile just thinking about it. But before we wiggle and giggle with our yoga, first, let me ask, have you done your yoga quest yet? If you have, big high fives to you. And if you haven't, you can still do it by downloading your maps over on the Cosmic Kids app, or you can get them for free at cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest. Easy peasy. Now I've had the most lovely messages from you and I want to read some out here. So hello to you, Poppy Flynn, to the gorgeous fellow astronaut sisters, Pippa, aged six, and Willow, aged three. Pippa and Willow, I love your picture of you in your spacesuits there in Brooklyn. And thank you for putting your vote in for a Mickey Mouse yoga club. A big hello to Shrutanita and her brother Parith from Delhi in India and happy birthday to both of you as Parith turned eight on the 21st of January and Shrutanita had her 10th birthday on the 5th of February. It's lovely to hear how much you enjoy the Wizard of Oz adventure and the Lulu adventure has helped you deal with that frustration you can feel when you're practicing your cartwheels. Great idea, Parith, for the Avenger yoga-themed yoga. And I love the idea of doing an adventure inspired by India, Shritanita. Thank you for those. Lovely to hear from Hannah, aged five, who has been enjoying the trolls, pirates and space videos. I'm so glad you and your mum, Nadia, have been having fun with the yoga. And now you even have your own yoga mat, Hannah. How cool is that? Wonderful Abby, thank you so much for your beautiful video of you doing crab pose and your lovely words about how much you enjoy the yoga classes. It was a joy to see you and get your lovely message. Hello to Samvi in Bubusara in India. I hope I said that right. Thank you for your lovely email and for telling me how much you enjoy Cosmic Kids. Betsy and Moana are your favourites. So, so good. And a vote for Frozen 2 there. Yes, I need to watch it. I do. Lovely to hear from you, Samvi. And super to hear about all the things you love doing. Drawing, painting and reading books. Thanks to parents Niraj and Nihal from Ann Arbor in Michigan, who wrote about their three amazing kids. Avik, aged 14, Vikash, aged 13, and Zavish, aged 9. I need to check out the Avatar The Last Airbender thing. That sounds really cool. And it's great to hear the Harry Potter and Star Wars yoga adventures have been a highlight after those long, long, long days spent on Zoom doing our learning. Well done. And thank you for this idea to do an avatar yoga adventure. I'm going to have a look at that. A big happy birthday to Isaac, who I know is having a birthday or has had a birthday recently. Thanks for the suggestion, Isaac. We do have a Hulk yoga adventure on the Cosmic Kids app, which you can check out. I hope you like it. I do think Hulk is a bit of an inspirational superhero. One of his superpowers is managing his anger. How cool is that? Now, thanks to Anya, who wrote in from her sister's email. It sounds like you are a very super strong and flexible young lady, Anya. I think doing a bit of yoga, stretching and strengthening every day is the key to how you keep it going. And I'm so glad you've been enjoying Yoga Quest. Well done for completing Shark's Bay. I reckon you've probably done a whole lot more by now. Hello to Alexander, who loves to use the yoga for exercise. Fabulous. And to Otis and Mum Dana. I too am a huge Zelda fan and have had my sights set on doing a Zelda yoga adventure for ages. I'm working on it, I promise. In the meantime, it's great to hear you're a fan of the Minecraft adventure. Thanks to Nathan and Alex from Merseyside for the Hey Dougie yoga adventure idea. I love that suggestion and for the suggestions for the poses too. 
Lovely Johnny is nine. Hello, would like to see a yoga adventure based on the movie Brave. Nice idea, Johnny. I like that and exciting to hear you are an actress. Hello to Batia, Shlomo and Sarah in Israel. Batia, we were wearing matching stripy tops in that boat yoga club. How cool was that? Thank you for the lovely pictures and for the suggestion to do The Little Mermaid. What a great story. Dear lovely Daphne, who is five from Guelph, Ontario, in a very chilly Canada at the moment. Thank you so much for your beautiful message and to your mum, Laura, for writing it out. I would love to do a Mary Poppins yoga adventure and I so loved seeing you in your Mary Poppins hat with your umbrella in your picture. I will work on that one, thank you. Thanks to Destorn Topoli, aged eight from Los Angeles in California, USA, for the idea of doing an episode about a cheetah cub called Swifty, who could do with learning how to focus. So not only could he focus on all the lovely nature around him, but he'd also know how to run really fast when he wants to. Love it, Destorn, and also love the Supergirl idea. I shall add that to my list for the next Superhero Kids Yoga in Space adventures. I'll be doing lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, lovely Laura has completed Yoga Quest, woohoo, and loves Yoga Club and has requested adventures about Lilo and Stitch and how to train your dragon. So many votes for that. Thanks, Laura. Hello and thanks to Manassa, who is six from Huddersfield and would like a yoga adventure based on the movie Sing. Oh, such a good movie. Thanks, Miriam, for writing in on behalf of Luca, who is four and would like yoga adventures based on babies and or the human body and how it works. How wonderful to hear you're interested in these very cool topics. And finally, hello to Everett, aged five, and Sister Madeline, aged three, from Toronto in Canada. Great to hear you enjoyed the Masked Singer episode and doing Dragon Pose, and that Madeline loves boat yoga and the pirates. It's a great idea to do a ninja yoga. Okay, keep your messages coming to me at yoga club at cosmickids.com and let's dial up the smiles for our fun filled yoga club. Can't wait! Woohoo! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie, and this is your place for yoga, stories, and fun. Now all you've got to do is copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. So let's begin how we begin every adventure, sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, with our hands together at our heart centre and saying our secret magic yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin, and today we're off down under to Australia to meet a kangaroo called Kickapoo. It's a long, long journey, so we're going to pack a suitcase. Putting your legs out long in front of you, take your arms out wide. Let's twist all the way round one way, and let's get some sun cream, because it can get really hot in Australia, and let's put that in our suitcase. Ooh. Let's take our arms out wide again and twist round the other way and let's get a, a sun hat. And then we won't get a burnt head. Let's put that in our suitcase as well. Oop. Now let's bend our knees a little bit, lift up our arms and close our suitcase. Ooh. Touching our toes with our fingers. Now before we get on the aeroplane, let's get our bodies ready. Let's cross our legs and lift up our shoulders and drop them down. Lift up our shoulders and drop them down. Let's lift up one shoulder up and the other shoulder up and drop the first shoulder down and drop the second shoulder down. And we'll go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You've got it, that's right. Now we're going to roll our heads round to get our necks feeling lovely. Rolling all the way round one way and all the way round the other way. And now let's do a bit of twiddling with our wrists and our ankles. Let's lean back and put our feet flat. Lifting up one foot, let's go round in a circle. 
Easy peasy. Now let's lift up the other foot and go round in a circle with that one. Can we do it with our hands as well? Let's try the first one. Yes. And let's go round with the other one. Yay! Phew, this is quite hard, but I think we're now ready for our journey on the aeroplane. We come onto our knees and bring our arms wide. We drop down onto one arm and wave at the sky. Then we bring our foot in front of our knee and shoot our leg out to the side. And we go, meow, all the way around half of the world. Then we come back onto two knees, bring our arms out wide, Tilt down onto the other side, wave at the sky, bring our other foot in front of our knee and shoot out that back leg. And we go, meow, all the way around the other half of the world until we arrive in Australia, where we stretch and yawn. What a long journey. But the sun's out, so we stand up tall and we say, Hello, sun. Then we drop all the way down, bending all the way down to touch our toes and say, hello, earth. We put our hands down and take one foot all the way back behind us and we say, beep, beep. We take our other foot back and come down onto our tummies where we lift up our shoulders and we go, like a hissy, scary Australian snake. Then we tuck our toes under, lift up our bottoms and come into our dog position or our dingo position, which is a dog in Australia. We lift up our dog tail, we give it a wag. We put it between our hands whoop, and we say beep beep. We bring our other foot back and we say hello earth. Then we reach up to the sunshine and we say hello sun. We get into our truck. We're going to drive into the bushland. We start the engine. Brum, 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 brum. We're going over to one side. Brum, 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 brum. We're going over to the other side. Brum, 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 brum. We're going down a hill. Brum, 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 brum. We're going up a hill. Brum, 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 brum. We sit up tall. We look out the window and we say... Good eye, which is hello in Australian. Then we go round the other way and we say, Good eye. And you know what that word means now? Yes, and we've arrived in the bushland, but we're super tired. So we decide to put up our tent and camp for the evening. We stand up, putting out our poles and lifting our tent right up. Now we check the zip works coming all the way down. Zzzz, zip checking that it goes up again. Uh-oh, it's got stuck. Let's go down again Zzz, and up. Uh-oh, it's got stuck again. Let's try it again. Zzz, and up again. Zzz, 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 zzz. Yay, it works. Thank goodness for that. Let's get on all fours and get inside like a pussycat. One paw, two paws, three paws, four paws. We get into our sleeping bags and snuggle up for the night. Ah! In the morning we're woken up by lots and lots of birds singing and they're singing a special song. Wrap your arms around and lift up your elbows. Ready? Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Wow, kookaburra, that's brilliant. We come out of our tent and we take a big breath of the lovely fresh air. Ah. <sighs> And to our surprise, sitting in front of us, looking rather scared, is a tiny little kangaroo. She says, G'day, my name is Kickapoo. I'm a kangaroo and I've lost all of my kangaroo friends. I was wondering if you could help me find them. Well, of course we'll help. So we put up our tent, pack it up and put it away. Then we hop off with Kickapoo into the bush. Hands down, little bunny hops. Whoop, boing, whoop, boing, where we come to a tree. We stand up one foot on top of the other and bring our hands together and grow our tree up very tall. Now maybe we can open up our branches and 
I wonder, can I blow you trees over? Let's have a test, shall we? I'm going to try. Here we go, standing still. <gasps> wow, you're still standing up. I don't know how you do it. Let's try it on the other leg this time. One foot on top of the other, hands together at your heart. Bring your tree nice and tall and open up your branches. Can you count to five with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Yay, you did it. Well done, you. But slithering down the branches of this tree slithers a snake. Oh no, we're a little bit frightened. But Kickapoo isn't. And she hops right up to the snake and says, G'day, excuse me, but have you seen my friends, the kangaroos? I can't find them and I'd really like to. Well, the snake, much to our surprise, is really nice. And she hisses. No, I haven't seen your friends, but I will help you find them if you like. Wow, we weren't expecting such a mean, nasty-looking snake to be so friendly. Wow, we must think about that again sometime. Now, we come to a river where we find a crocodile, long and large, and he's basking in the sun, snapping his jaws rather lazily. Oh, oh. Kickapoo isn't afraid of him, and she hops right up to the crocodile and says, Good day. Excuse me, Mr. Crocodile, but have you seen a group of kangaroos? They're my friends, and I've lost them, and I'd really like to find them. The crocodile yawns again and says, Oh, well, no, I haven't seen your friends, but if you'd like some help crossing the river, hop on my back. I'll take you across. Well. We weren't expecting such a friendly response from a crocodile. We get onto the crocodile's back very carefully and we have to balance so that we don't fall in the water. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. Gosh, all of these mean, nasty looking animals are actually quite friendly. We hop off the other side where we meet a dingo. A dingo is a dog, remember? Hands down, put your legs down and look up. Look up into your belly button, maybe go woof. Now this dingo has rather sharp looking teeth and he's licking his chops. Mmm. Oh dear, we're not sure about saying hello to him. But Kickapoo is not afraid and she hops straight up to him. Boing, boing, boing. Good day, she says. Excuse me, but have you seen my friends, the kangaroos? I can't find them at all. The dingo does a big stretch up. And all the way down oh, and says, you know what? Yeah, I did see your kangaroo friends. They went into that cave. Follow me. A cave. Oh, we're not sure about the cave. It looks a bit dark and it looks a little bit damp. But we go in tiptoeing as we go. Shh, tiptoe, tiptoe. <gasps> we look above us and we see lots and lots of bats. Ooh, we're not sure about bats. Jump all the way round and take your legs wide and bend all the way down and look between your legs because bats hang upside down and they've got big wide eyes. But instead of being mean, they give us a big wave. Hello, they say. But all of a sudden we're stuck in a spider's web. Oh dear. And scuttling towards us very quickly is a... Digga, 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 spider! But instead of being really mean, she says, Oh, you poor things. You got into my web and all tangled. Your friends just popped through a minute ago. Why don't I unspin you and then you can go after them? Oh, wow. What a kind and friendly spider. And she begins to unspin us. So we are free, 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 free to hop through to the other side of the cave. Boing, 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 boing. Where, among the rocks, there are lots and lots of little friendly kangaroos. And guess what? They're all playing didgeridoos. Didgeridoos are long wooden tube things and they go like this. 
Why don't you have a go? They're very happy kangaroos and they're playing a game of kangaroo statues. Would you like to play? Yes, shall we have a go? Here we go then everyone. Up we go and ready to dance like a kangaroo. Here we go. Boing, 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 boing. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Tiny kangaroo down. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Tiny kangaroo down. <gasps> the music stopped, so we have to freeze. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Tiny kangaroo down. Tiny kangaroo down sport. Top. Wow, you're really good at this, aren't you? Goodness me. But it's time to go home now. And coming out of the sky is an eagle. Bend your knees and take one leg across. Then take one arm under the other and bring it up to meet your face. Then you're going to twist, twist, twist the other arm up and bend down even further like an eagle. Then we're going to unravel and we're going to do it on the other side, taking your other leg across, bending down and taking your other arm under, lifting it up and twisting them round, bending down. This eagle very kindly offers to take us all the way home. We hop onto the eagle's back and she begins to fly, spreading her big, long eagle wings. We set off soaring into the sky, waving at all of our new friends as we go. Oh, what an amazing adventure. But we're ready now to settle down into the soft, warm feathers on the back of this eagle. Lying all the way down, we put our arms down by our sides and we lay long and relaxed. Ah, oh, what a special time. We've learnt so much with Kickapoo. We could say hello to everyone. And just because someone might look mean or scary doesn't mean they're going to be horrible. So maybe we should take the time to get to know people before we make a judgement about them. Oh, but for now, we enjoy lying on the back of this eagle with the wind in our hair and the sunshine on our bodies all the way home. Slowly we begin by wiggling our toes and then wiggling our fingers. Then we bring our knees up and roll over onto our sides, sitting up with our legs crossed again. Back to where we started with our hands together in our heart centre and after three, our special yoga code word. Ready? One, two, Three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Well done for coming to Australia and meeting Kickapoo the kangaroo. She loved you and I loved you too. It was great hanging out with you today. I hope you come back for more Cosmic Kids soon. Bye bye. Super Yoga!
juxtapose. My name's Joe. I've got a wife and three kids and I work in the button factory. One day, my boss said to me, he said, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, push this button with your left hand. a wife and three kids and I work in the button factory. One day my boss said to me, he said, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, push this button with your left foot. Hi, my name's Joe. I've got 
a wife and three kids and I work in the button factory. One day, my boss said to me, he said, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, push this button with your right foot. My name's Joe. I've got a wife and three kids and I work in the button factory. One day, my boss said to me, he said, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, push this button with your head. Happy baby pose. Coming down to lie on our backs with our legs up in the air. We reach round to grab our feet, drawing our knees in towards our armpits. Now, we try and keep our backs nice and long. Ah, happy baby pose is really good for giving us a lovely back massage. It also opens our hips. Wonderful pose, very calming. Oh, looks like we've made this baby very happy. Happy baby pose. <laughs> Peace out. Fluffy Bunny Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to get ourselves comfortable. Find yourself some space where you can either lie down or sit with legs crossed. If you want, you can sit on a chair. If this is your choice, Try to have both feet on the floor and rest your hands on your lap. Decide which position works best for you and get yourself settled. Hopefully now you feel comfortable enough to sit nice and still or as still as you can manage to give your body and mind some special relaxation time. If you prefer, keep your eyes open. Or if you want to make it even more of an adventure, you can close them. Now, see if you can notice your breathing coming in and going out. Can you feel the air as it goes in and out of your nose. If you're sitting or lying on your back, place a hand on your tummy. Maybe you can feel the air, filling it up like a balloon, and then emptying with each breath out, in and out, in and out. 
next time as you breathe out, if you haven't already, let your eyes softly close. Now you can enjoy letting your mind make the pictures for you, just like a dream. You're outside in a field. You walk along and can feel the grass tickling your ankles. All of a sudden, a little bunny rabbit appears in front of you. Hello, you. You crouch down to get closer, and much to your surprise, it hops up into your arms. You cradle the bunny rabbit and carefully stroke its soft, fluffy fur. It feels so silky and smooth. You look a little closer, noticing the light brown fur on its back and the pure white fur on its tummy. Its ears are long and silky smooth and its tail is a neat little fluffy ball. The bunny looks up at you with big brown eyes. It reaches up as if to smell you, its whiskers and nose twitching, tickling your cheek. This little fluffy bunny likes you and feels very happy having a cuddle in your arms. You feel very calm and relaxed here, stroking it gently. As you do, its eyes begin to close and it relaxes. It seems to be falling asleep. Looking around, you see two other bunnies have come along to watch you. These ones look a bit older and bigger. They're the little bunny's parents. You carefully place the little sleeping fluffy bunny down on the soft grass and move back calmly and quietly. The parents hop quietly over to their sleeping baby and snuggle up next to it. What a happy family of bunnies, you think. Seeing this makes you feel so happy and peaceful. You leave them to enjoy their family nap time and silently walk back through the field. It's time now to come back from your peace out and bring all that love and fluffy bunny warmth back to the here and now in your life. Take a nice deep breath and gently, slowly wiggle your fingers and toes. Give yourself a nice stretch, maybe a yawn, and very gently open your eyes, slowly letting the world back in. Before you move, take a moment to notice how you feel. Different, maybe, to how you felt before your peace out. What a treat to meet such a fluffy baby bunny and have some cuddle time. I hope that feeling stays with you in your heart and you can take it with you into the rest of your day and night. Well done you for taking this special magic time for yourself. You are amazing at staying so calm and relaxed. I'll look forward to our next time together. Until then. This is Jamie saying peace out.